Right, so I was trying to do some videos the other day. Uh, took some rifles down, Pete's. Had an absolutely horrific time trying to um, zero this in, the uh, Project AW80. Um, I seemed to get it vaguely on target. And um, all of a sudden, the, it just disappeared completely off the target. And it took a little while to rein it back in, again hitting some splat bursts, and then it's just all over the place again. So I don't know whether the recoil is just too much for this little Hawk scope. It's not the best scope in the world. Um, I've mentioned in the past that it hasn't got an adjustable objective, which means that you either focus it on, on the crosshairs or you up the magnification to get it on target and then the crosshairs are all blurry so it's just this trying to find this fine mix and uh, it's not the greatest if I'm being brutally honest. So what I will do is put a better scope on it that I know does obviously work. Um, I've got some uh, brand new 6-24 uh, by 50 Hulk scope, I'll put that on there. Um, I'll give the barrel um, a damn good pull through and clean that out. And then we can see if there's some form of uh, consistency. And then go from there really, because it was a absolutely horrific day the other day when I was down there, I just couldn't hit a side of a barn door. With either this, uh, the HW35, and also the HW97 took a little while for it to um, get on target. And I realised it was because the, the mount was moving. Uh, once that was dialed in, it's literally shooting as it should do. Fantastic rifle. Um, and there's no rhyme or reason why this one shouldn't be exactly the same as well. Uh, just needs a little bit more fettling. Hopefully it's just a clean and a better scope. And then uh, we should be rock and rolling. If not, it'll probably get broken down for parts. Because um, I've spent enough time and money on it. So, yeah, I was a bit disappointed. Anyway, moving on to today. To tackle with the Crossman Barrel. So um, I've taken it off um, and put the plastic breech back on um, and I'll decide what I'm going to do with this. So at the minute it's uh, shooting pretty much stock and I have to say without the moderator it's bloody loud. Um, I do need to get some um, scope mounts or mounts for a red dot because trying to look at the um, iron sights of the open sights is just, you might as well just guess. Because um, obviously where it, the front sight affixes to the front of the barrel, it's not really square. And even when you come to the adjustment at the back, you can move it up and down side to side and it doesn't really tend to make much of a difference because the, the front open sight is just huge. So um, yeah, I'll play around with that for a little while. Um, but what we'll do is we'll see if we can use some of this stuff to uh, re-blue, probably, to re-blue the um, barrel. Because, uh, so when I've got it, the actual quality of the uh, bluing is uh, very sketchy. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove all the old bluing. Uh, we will use some wet and dry paper, 320 up to 1000. I have got 1200, it should, if I decide to go that mad, um, we'll polish it um, and then we will give it a clean with some acetone um, and then use some of this Philips Cold Blue solution. Now I did use this on the HW80 um, and it came out alright actually. Um, I must admit I was fasting around with it a little bit, I was trying to soak it in a tub um, and it worked alright. Obviously where it was sitting on the tub at the bottom it wasn't um, getting any solution so I kept having to move it around. Um, and even just the gentlest of cleaning uh, seemed to wipe quite a lot of it off. Um, so it took a little bit of time and then in the end I actually just um, started putting it on by hand. Um, leaving it, rinsing it, putting it on, rinsing it. And it did seem to um, work. It didn't seem to be as quick as the gun tough. The um, Birchwood Casey stuff. Um, but yeah, it seemed to give it a nice blue anyway, let's put it that way. So what I'm going to do... Let me see if I can do it on this barrel because uh, the weather's absolutely shocking outside. I can't be bothered to go down the range. 
I must admit, I was a bit grumpy down there the other day, and I don't mean to be rude if it was any of you guys, but um, sitting there in the uh, 35 with uh, me and another fellow on the other side, people started coming in and sitting next to me. It's like you've got the entire range to go into, and you're just literally sitting next to me. But there you go. Me just being grumpy. Anyway, let's crack on with this. I'm going to use this um, Birchwood KC uh, rust remover. It contains uh, phosphoric acid, so hopefully it should take off this blue. It stinks almost a bit. I was thinking about maybe doing half, and then at least you can see the, um, the difference between the um, stock blue in and the uh, what I'm going to do. I'm not sure I can be bothered to do the job twice. So uh, we'll do it all in one go. And we'll just have to look at the before and the after photos. Should really be wearing gloves, I'm just gonna get some later. It doesn't matter if it doesn't all come off because um, I'm going to be using some wet and dry anyway. So there you go. So the steel underneath um, looks pretty good. It's not as if it's um, rusty or anything along those lines. I think it was just a, probably an old barrel that just been stored for a long while and just blew in just was a bit pants on it. All the blue has been taken off. So what I'm going to do now is uh, before I degrease it, I'm going to give it a, um, a go and over some wet and dry. So 320, 600. 800 and 1000 um, and then I'll give it a polish and see where we are and then we can uh, see about degreasing it and then using some of this uh, Phillips Professional Cold Blue see if we can give it a nice luster. So what I'm going to do now is wash my hands then use some uh, water sole and then see if we can give it a final little polish before degreasing and then re -bluing. So let me wash my hands. So some awesome, awesome. What I'm going to do, put it on the barrel, rub it in, buff off, and then we can go from there. There was, um, I don't know if anyone else follows him, uh, My Mechanics on YouTube, really, really good engineer. Um, he did a video on bluing, and he did it on polished parts, sandblasted parts, and maybe natural parts, I can't remember, there was three anyway. Um, and it was actually the, um, oh, sandblasted. The sandblasting uh, blue in, or black in, um, came out the best. So I'm not entirely sure whether this polishing is actually gonna help, but who knows. I think it all depends on obviously what material, sorry, you're all jiggly in here, what um, the, Materials like obviously if it's got anything to key but, um, Yeah, we'll do it anyway Why not then? Right. I'll give that a second and then I will wash my hands and we'll buff it off So it's all been uh, buffed off now I think it looks pretty nice and pretty shiny. So what I need to do now is definitely go and get some gloves on and we can start degreasing it and the re-blue Apologise in advance if this is a bit of a trigger warning but they are going to be two different coloured gloves. Right, so what I'm going to use is some um, uh, acetone as a degreaser uh, just to get rid of 
any residue that's been left on there or put on there from me, obviously doing the um, polish and buffing. And I'll give it a, a bit of a rinse. And then a blue. Hopefully the um, bit of the preparation uh, pays off. Well, for a potential item that I'm never going to use. But oh well. it's all about a learning curve, and it I can practice on this. And then when it comes to uh, if I ever need to do something that I do really want to use, I've uh, got a bit of practice. So yeah, even more on a trigger warning. The um, acetone it through my glove, so I'm just gonna have to be careful. Right, so professional cold blue, um, completely degreased with non oily solvent, such as whatever, uh, rust removed, uh, degreased past must not be touched by hand, so it might be touched by my thumb, um, poured into a shallow trough uh, made of plastic uh, and diluted down. Um, Small parts use a brush. So let's see. Right, so let's go against the instructions. I thought you could use this neat. Oh well, we will now and we'll see what happens. If not, we can always start again. Right. It's going to have several coats anyway, so um, you can tell it starts to go blue. I don't know if you can see that in the light. But, um, what we'll do is turn it around, do the other side, and then um, I'll rinse it off. It's supposed to be left on for about a minute. So hopefully if I get my act together, um, it'll be all right. Just aiming to um, wipe it over, try and avoid any runs, drips, and all sorts. I found it was when it was um, sitting in the trough, in a big tub, um, anything that was obviously on the bottom um, wasn't getting blued as such. There was a big line, and obviously turning it over, it was quite difficult to try and even it out. So even though it says to um, soak it, you probably have to suspend it in a solution rather than it being a um, just leaving it to its own devices all right so that's the first coat so what i'll do i'll set timer with siri for a minute and then we'll rinse it off with some water and uh, do it a couple more times all right so that's had uh, three or four coats of the oil it's just been rinsed off in water. So what I need to do now is gently dry it and I will then spray it down with some oil. I'll use some um, Napier gun oil. Um, leave it for an hour or two or overnight. Um, let all the oil soak in. Let the um, blue in harden as it were because I could literally rub this off at the minute. And then uh, we'll go from there. It looks, yeah, it doesn't look too bad actually. Not perfect, but better, we shall see. So let's give it a damn good oiling. 
I don't really want to do it in my phone because it, uh, it gets everywhere. All right, so let's add the oil. So now it just literally needs to um, soak in it. Soak all the oil up. Allow the blue in to harden. And then we can review the results later today, tomorrow. Who knows? So yeah, right. Let's leave that all oiled. We'll come back to it later.